Well, so si, Miss Kay had had some very interesting go on at her house. Oh, did you hear about it? No, since I haven't seen you in a long, long time. Excuse me. Since the what last have, time I was here. Yeah. What have you been up to? Well, last Saturday we had our first homeless couple wedding. And I didn't get no invitation. I'm sorry. I was just. Yeah. I, they were so. I didn't know who all she was going to bring from the streets. So. Well, hey, how bad that was a hoot. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> but it got. It started out really well because they got there and everything. And, and of course, Phil was. <laughs> Phil was like trying to figure out, and I told him, Phil, I said, you walk down the sidewalk toward our neighbor, our, from our neighbors, and you make a little curve, and then we have an arbor. But I don't even know what all, there's a bunch of wild animals. arbor? Arbor, is that the right word? Is that is the right the, word? Is this the horseshoe where, where, thing? Where? Yeah, yeah, and oh, it's got oh, all that greenery okay, on okay, it. Okay, okay. where the grill is. Well, I know arbor. Has, it has, arbor is a drill to me. I think. Okay, it's got birds living in this, and uh, oh, other okay. little animals. Okay. But it was all over there. You so all that, had it decorated. Yeah, I, we stuck flowers in the all the green. Oh, okay, there. that's okay. what we all did. Right. Okay, I so bet that's, that was pretty. I, it was. So what God. we had to do is Phil had to walk her down the aisle, which that was the worst thing. Phil he, gave her away. Oh yeah, and he and he did the sermon. But here's the deal. <laughs> so you, I said, Phil, go slow, go slow, and he just ran. And dragged her behind him. He was in a hurry. He ran her down there. And all right, we got to get this done in a hurry, boys. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a, this so is he gets all ready and starts his Bible and starting to talk. And then all of a sudden, somebody had brought um, the groom's sis- sister from a lot. I think she's from Odessa, Texas. And she brought her there to the wedding to be there with her brother. And so she was going to stay in the car because they had two bulldogs they brought with them and pit, they were, are the pit bulldogs uh, yeah and yeah. they were hanging oh, out the window okay. pit, pit bulls, pit and bulls. Get okay pit bulls. dangerous dogs but okay yeah <laughs> and then so bobo who thinks he's boss hog he's gonna take them on and them two little dumber dogs that i have the, the shaggy okay, sneaky and piggy yeah whatever you and phil have them different names uh, than i do I know. okay they're gonna go out there and take on those two bulldogs well, Phil starts talking, there was, <laughs> I mean, it was the biggest, loudest noise, and everybody's uh, just looking, what's that coming from? Right. That sounds just like my childhood growing up, okay? What? There dogs, was a wedding dogs. in your front yard oh, no, with no, dogs no. fighting? Dogs, hey, the dogs fighting. Okay. But there was no right. wedding. No wedding. No. <laughs> well, hey. then Phil has to stop the whole wedding and say, Miss Kay, you got to go get our dogs no, no, in Go here. get the dogs taken care of. Yeah, we got to shut this dog thing down. So me and whoever, you know, we had to go out there and catch my dogs and put them in my room, which was, I would get them inside the house, and then they'd just turn around and run right out the hole that they go through. So finally <laughs> drug them in my room and closed them in the doors, and we went back to continue on, and I was so scared the neighbor's dog would come over. So His that- name is Mutt, and I was so scared, <laughs> but he didn't come over. Mutt and Jill. <laughs> Mutt and Jill. So, His name is Mutt. And so then all that interruption, we started the ceremony again. So there was a legit so, intermission. Oh, yeah, there was a dog fight in the middle of the wedding. Right. I mean, how and many Mutt- times do you think that's ever happened? I have to ask. I had you. to stop the hey. stop the ceremonies for a dog fight. I have Were you to, there? No, I wasn't. Uh, hey, <laughs> I have to ask this, and I'm not being rude or, or bad, mean spirited. Was the the dress casual or what here? <laughs> It was. I mean, we're talking about a homeless marriage. Here. It, it was very casual. There were a lot of okay. shorts, t-shirts, okay. Okay. different okay. things. Okay. Yeah. So and this I, is I come was, as you are wedding. Yeah, just as okay. you are. I, I just want to make sure. But here, what we had. I am just. Oh, I wish I could have been there. My my yeah. nephew and your nephew John Gimber did all the food. Wow. We had great sandwiches. Uh, we had chips. Everybody got bags of chips. Okay. Well, wait. A minute. My brother is not a certified <laughs> pastor that can marry he with is. Al. 
He is. Yeah. Alan oh, yeah. made him one. He's certified. Yeah, he, he's Alan, certified Alan now. Made him he, do he's it. He's bona fide. Oh, he's <laughs> bona fide. <laughs> okay, his, I didn't know. This I didn't is know. his second wedding, but he don't advertise it. Okay, I'm, I'm glad that Al was there. But we, we just advertise it. We're going to okay, get some okay. emails on this okay, one. Okay, so okay. if you'd like to get married <laughs> under an arbor with a dog fried, <laughs> with casual dress, and chips, and chip. email <laughs> hello at duckcallroom.com. And we had a, I'll hey, get you a price list. We, we hey. had a case of all different kind of drinks, Dr. Pepper's, Cokes, and all uh, that. We had uh, that in a, a nice Yeti ice chest. Oh, a Yeti. A Yeti. So. Hey, only the best, boys. That's what, hey, what, what hey. else could we do? Oh, and we, uh, we had a wedding cake. We had <laughs> My granddaughter made a wedding cake. It was beautiful. Uh, who's your granddaughter? Alex. Alex my sister. Was it good? Was a, it was she's great. A, oh, she is a but, baker from way back. Oh, she's good. Yeah, and and I've got to pay her for that too. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So never before will you hear about the homeless people marrying except right here. But here's here's yeah. another question. <laughs> I, oh, no. I, no, no. Here's another question, and you probably don't have the answer to it, but I would love to know. I would love to know how these people met. On the street. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, okay. Well, I Yo, got a better question. Uh, Where did you meet these people? They go to our church. Okay, all right, that well, makes yes, sense. Yes, they right. go to our church, so, and we're so happy. So, on a serious note, yeah. uh, what what Miss K and Phil do for the homeless community in Monroe is unheard of. You won't find too many humans on the planet who will do for these people what they do. One hundred percent. Because every oh, time- I, I wish I'd have been there. I, I, I feel like, bad that well, I missed it. Well, the next one I'll have all in my six eight. I would have loved to have been attended it. I really would have. Because every Sunday morning, you... Everybody needs love for crying out loud. That's right. Because that. yeah. you, you, you and Phil yeah. host church for anybody that yeah. wants to come. That's and you, right. There's breakfast and, and I provide. Oh, I provide lunch to go. Oh, it's you lunch? You got lunch to go. Plus, <sighs> if you're only the homeless... You get free Burger King cards that I give one a piece to all of them. Unless there's not, sometimes somebody gets two for a special thing they did. Yep. So that's what you get at our church. University Christian Church. Yes. I love it. Miss Kay, you're a saint. I love it. That's the coolest thing I've ever heard of. I love people. All love people. You, that's what I want on my tom- tombstone. Because so. I love everybody? Yeah. I like lies, Miss Kay. I better, I better, I better tell Jay, so you might pass before me. I don't know. Oh, they know might. Hey, I'm planning on making it to a hundo. <laughs> and I'm also, you know what else I'm gonna put on your tombstone? Is she made the best homemade pie crust in the world? In the world. And then she passed it down to one of her little uh, kids. Tombstone's getting big. Miss <laughs> <laughs> BK. Yeah. Yep. Right. And, and she cooked Alex, one for Uncle Sal. The one. <laughs> just get expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, hey. This case could do so. Oh, hey. And she cooks them for Uncle Sal from time to time to this day. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> and I'm like you. I need to pay her for it. Too. Well, guess what I'm fixing to make next week? <laughs> Where she'll sweet, have a little spending money bata- as a teenager. Sweet potato pies I'm making Uh-oh. next week. Okay. In case you wanted to know. Okay. Is it well, fall? hey. Next week? All no, right. it's in, it's it's. Due to a special before we have teal season. Me and Stone, Ooh, me and Stone like will be down there sometime around when you get a mate. Oh, yeah, we'll be there. Yeah. We'll be oh, there with bells yeah. on the side. Oh, right. Well, that is a fantastic story. What was it like dating Phil and Cy? Si? Because you were basically, all I've ever heard is you triple know, when dates. I ever thought I wanted like a brother, all that flew out the window. <laughs> when I got him, it was like, I was like, Phil, is he going to come on all our dates? Well, I need him to help us. Because look, what one of Phil's dates would be is we're going to go sane a pond and get all these little fish and little things to put on the trot lines. Well, I thought that was sounded fun, you know. So me and Si are out there doing it. And then I said, Phil, I think something just hurts my leg. It felt like a snake. It wouldn't be a snake. Oh, there ain't no snakes out here. Ain't no snakes. I said, why? It, I think it was one. And so I said, well, I didn't see it. So naturally, then they, they wouldn't believe me. So I guarantee you, I was out there with a snake, but he didn't bite me. But here we'd go with all that stuff. And then we went back and said, si, you're going to remember this. And if you don't, I'm going to bop you in the head. Do you remember them long 
worms that were that long. Oh, yeah, we picked oh, them up. Oh, yeah. Well, do you remember when you put were going to put them down my back and we ran through a whole cornfield <laughs> and you were chasing me and you finally caught me and stuck those stupid worms down my back? I never did forgive you for that. <laughs> yeah, they're, be- they're called river worms and they only live in clay. Yeah. And when it would rain, you could literally just pick them up off the ground. Hundreds of them. That's really true. I saw them. Yeah. Well, why did you hundreds. decide to be so mean to put them down my back? Hey, that's what kids do, Kate. I know. They put bugs but on But I wouldn't be two, uh, two years older than you. I know. We was kids. You no. was, what, 14 when you met Phil? I was. I was 14 when I met Phil. And and then when I took you to help ra- have raisin, because I'm telling you, here we were, all three of us. He's in the back seat. We're in the front seat. They'd, they'd pull up. If somebody'd pull up beside him and tell him, who's out in the back? And Phil would say, oh, it's just I Don't worry about it. So what you're saying is you didn't marry Phil for his money. No, he married me for my money. <laughs> And he, he spent, and he spent all of them. <laughs> well, he spent on a shot, lot. On shotgun shells. Right. And four-wheel drive truck, shotgun shells, and shotguns. Oh, that's and cool. four-wheelers later, of course. And four-wheelers when they yeah. got, you know. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you something. When we went out to the fancy place, like our dating expensive place to go, you're going to die in Shreveport, Louisiana. El Chico's, El Chico. the, the original El Chico, That's right. the Spanish original food. one. And you know what? We'd get all you could eat for, you know, for two. So he ate all you could eat uh, as much as they'd let him have. Then he took all my, Ted made me order a plate. I, I said, I can't eat another plate. He said, well, I can. <laughs> Hold on. They, they cut him off at the all you can eat? They really did that. So it's really yeah. a lie. I think all you can eat has never really been like a challenge. It's just a suggestion. All right. Martin. So, Tinker. We called him Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. No, I did not that, call well, him. Hey. Oh, Lord. But first, time out. Oh. oh. Is that I, I Tony you, the Pony? That's, that's Tony the Pony. Him. Is that you? That's me and my grandpa. Look at that's Annie it. Oakley. That's it, boy. That's Annie that's Oakley. Right. Look at that. Do I have on chaps or something? I don't me, know. Hey, you got the whole hey, outfit. Hey, cowgirl, oh, let me tell you something. You, hey, you got the whole outfit. That's me. That is unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> I told you. And look, I wore that hat to church. My mom would be so mad. And then she made me hang it out there with the men's hats. I can see why you were the entertainment at the store. When you get home, you going to take you a nap? Yep, I sure am. What you going to lay your head down on? Hey, on 2.0. My pillow. On his pillow, not your pillow. My pillow, boy. That, My pillow 2.0. If That's there's right. one thing I can assure you, Si, I don't want your pillow. That's I right. want my you can't pillow. Get it. But with That's the 2.0, exactly right. it's easy to wash, so you'd actually be fine using size pillow. As long I, as I you... Would. Huh? He uses my pillow. Okay. I'm yeah. just saying in a hypothetical world. No, yeah. right. Don't be, be putting no hypothetical nothing with my two point oh pillow. What about if I used my towel? Huh? Or your towel? No, we ain't sharing no, towels. You, hey, you could you use your towel, but hey, you ain't using mine. <laughs> yeah, oh, I love it. Ownership, Look, boys, ownership. I love it. Look, you've heard us talk about how much we all love the my pillow products from Mike Lindell, the my pillow guy. When Mike invented the my pillow, he's like, Man, I got everything you need in a pillow. Yep. Until 20 years later, I he said, you wrong. know what? He said, made it better. Wrong. Not quite. I can make it better. I can make it better. I can make it better by using my patented feel, but also adding some temperature regulating thread. That's right. We have the technology. That way you got a fabric and not a finish, so it lasts okay. the life of the garment. Look, the MyPillow 2.0 is the softest, smoothest, and coolest pillow you'll ever own. MyPillow 2.0 with temperature regulating technology is 100% made in the USA and comes with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. guarantee. There's no there's no chances here. If you don't like it, they'll take care of you, but you're, you're going to love, love it. it. You're going to love it. You're going to love the towels like Cy does. You're going to love the slippers like Brittany does. You're going to love it all. It doesn't matter. They got you covered. Everything at MyPillow, super cool. And, the you know, the... The coolest thing about 2.0, it's made right here in America. So when you lay down at night, you can rest easy knowing you're keeping Americans working. That is a cool thing. 
If you want to get yours, all you have to do is go to MyPillow.com slash duck to get the all new MyPillow 2.0. Right now, get the all new MyPillow 2.0 and you get the second one absolutely free when you use promo code duck. Again, just go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck for a buy one, get one on the MyPillow 2.0. Or you can call 800-969-3137 and use promo code duck. Order now because when they're gone, hey, they're gone. Right before the break, Miss K got fired up again about a certain action of her children. They locked, they locked me out of the house. Now, I don't remember what led up to that, but I was so mad, and I was beating, beating on the thing, and I missed the door and hit the little glass and broke it in my door. Well, then I heard him say, oh, no, she just broke the door. She's going to kill us. So... <laughs> They anyway, I got in the house. Somebody ran up there and must unlock. Then they took off running out the back door, and I took off chasing them. And I I grabbed Phil's belt on the way out, and I said, "I'm gonna whip y'all till you can't even sit down." And I chased them up and down. Finally, got a hold of them, and I just had one at a time. And when I went to hit the belt with them, I had it slipped. And it turned around, and I hit myself between the eyes with the buckle. So I, they were like, now she's hurt herself. we got to go in the woods and stay. I That's couldn't right. catch we're gonna them gone went, for a week. All I was screaming then was, wait till your daddy gets home. Ooh. Yeah, they got it. <laughs> I heard that. I wasn't well, afraid I will of tell you, you, uh, you got up out of bed and walked in there in your underwear. I said, sigh. You're you're grown. Quit doing that in front of me. I'm not I'm not your real sister, and I'm I'm here to see Phil. Quit walking around in your underwear. You didn't want to have lust in yeah, your eyes, no, did no. you? Kay? No, no, but yeah, she did ten, ten, was, the thin error. man, the thin man. I mean, did he have that hump on his back then? Yeah, I've always had bad posture. <laughs> he has. <laughs> But I mean, he was in his. I, I said, I've always had bad posture. He was in his tiny whities, but it just looked like a stick with arms and legs. But I'm impressed and then he they just were white. Walks outside. <laughs> he just walks outside. I said, "What is wrong with him?" Phil said, "Oh, he's probably still asleep." As Phil wants me to keep my hair dark and look younger, <laughs> but what do I have to say about him? What? I mean, he can just look know. any way he wants. We don't even want well, to go Here's what I'll tell you, Kay. Here's what I'll tell you. He's not here. You can say whatever you like. <laughs> what would you like to say about him? <laughs> well, I love him. <laughs> I think he married me for my money. Hey, we did, Kay. <laughs> we did. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you were going to come along with the deal either. I talked him into it. <laughs> Oh, oh package deal. Well, that's right, package well if deal I boy. got him, I had to get you, so there wasn't no. They had a family meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I got an idea, Phil. So, Miss Kay has a news story yeah. to tell us. Kay, I hadn't heard this one. No, uh, and I'm... you won't like it either. Uh-oh. It uh, happened today. Today. This morning. This morning, I was getting his lunch ready at 8 o'clock in the morning. Because I knew I was going to be here, and I had, so I prefixed this lunch. I cut up a bunch of vegetables, but then a bunch of stuff, some celery went bad, and I, and I put it on my bowl because I have a little compost garden out there. And you just, so I was going to go throw that all away, you know, that stuff. And I don't know why, why I was in a hurry to do it, but I just did it. So I go out there, and I have, like, shoes on, but they're like floppy shoes, you know, not... Um, well, they're just floppy shoes. Okay, so I got there, and I wasn't paying any attention to the fact that it had rained last night. I don't know if y'all know that, but it did. Well, so when I went to throw that out to the thing, that stuff didn't just go. I went with it. <laughs> I hit the whole porch. You're I on just, the back porch? Okay, I'm oh. out there the porch by the country kitchen. Okay. Okay, right, and right. boom, and I found myself just... On, on laying down on that wood, thinking that was slick. That's why I fell. That was too slick. Well, I immediately said, I got to assess the damage. So the first thing I thought, what's hurting? Well, it was the right knee. That It looks like you went. You had the worst skin on a, you know how you get those losing your skin when you had the bite wreck and all that yep, stuff? Yep. Okay, well, we got one of those, and it's swelling. 
Then the left from the knee down is one big growing bruise. And it's, you know, coming up. And then I say, what else hurts? Well, nothing else stood out. So I said, can I get up? I did get up. And, but I, then I went in. I was trying to go in the back door because I said, I ain't doing very good. I'm just, I've got to get it. Well, I got it in the house. And so I said, oh, no, he's going to die because he told me, don't go out there if them things are slippery like that. So I get that. I knew that was wrong after it was done. So then I, th- I fixed the lunch like I never was hurt and did everything. And then I wrote him a note, and it said, okay, this note is going to tell you that you cannot be mad because <laughs> this lady that did something that wasn't the baddest thing, but it was the medium bad thing, uh, she learned her lesson, and she is never, ever going to do this again. <laughs> so now the contract says... And and I made it a line for you to sign this, <laughs> so that you, you can't get mad. That you cannot be mad okay. at this lady. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that was the note. So when I'm driving up here, <clears throat> he calls me, and he said, "What did the lady do?" <laughs> yeah. yeah what said, lady? <laughs> I said, "Well, she accidentally fell on the slick st- uh, wood out there by her little garden, and she just fell." And he said, well, how bad was the lady hurt? I said, well, it's her knee on her right side. <laughs> second, second and, and the left side down is just a big bruise, like she was a bruised lady. And he said, well, that's terrible. And I said, oh, I'm waiting for more. And then he said, well, look, about that meat sauce that you just cooked, do you think I should cook one, put one spaghetti package or two spaghetti He immediately packages? went to dinner. Yeah. I said, put one in. I said, well, what about what the lady did? And he said, well, I hope that lady learned from it. And that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> well, you about due for a new one, ain't you? Oh, no. He's he's up. He's 10 and a half years old. Has he ever been 11. to the veterinarian? Is he what? Does he go to the vet? Does he go to the vet? Of course he goes. <laughs> okay. All regular checkups. And we board him, board him uh, for Christmas. With my two shaggy dogs, they're rescue dogs. Sneaky and Phil freaky. said they're, they're the dumbest dogs in the whole wide that's world. Sneaky and And freaky. I said, that's who you're supposed to help. <laughs> the dumb and the poor, that's who you help. So they're dumb. I love them more. <laughs> Those dogs No, no. Dumb. Hey, look. No, no. <laughs> most that's who you're supposed to help. The dumb no, no. and the poor. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm telling you. Most dogs like me, but sneaky and freaky, nah. They they ain't, they ain't about you. I, no, Kay's right. They're the two dumbest dogs I ever seen. Uh, well, that's earth. why you love them more. I have, I do have a question about rudeness sitting next to me. He told a story about hitting you with a fork at the dinner table. Oh, no, so that's what she said. The first time she ate, had dinner with us. Did he really stab you with a fork? Yeah, he did, and I thought I was going to die. I mean, he said, I called for that piece. <laughs> Who does that? I mean, we all get our fork and get our chicken, and he just stuck his thing right on my hand and I said, I, I called for that piece. That was the last piece of chicken. <laughs> so that's a true story. That, that was, is a really that's a true, true story. story. Oh, man. And that was at all y'all's I did, house? I didn't stick her. I just put it on there and held it. <laughs> held it and said, hey, yeah. I had called for Oh, this. you had the pork on the chicken. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I'm going to tell you something. That's so rude. <laughs> I was a guest at your house, and I couldn't even get a piece of chicken I wanted. Oh, you already had two or three. No, I, I didn't. <laughs> that was the no, last I had piece. One. I didn't that was eat. the last piece. That's the most Robertson thing ever right no, no, there. No, no. Either. Right. He knows how many pieces of chicken right. you had. 50 something oh, oh, no, years no, ago. We'll watch it. And his, well, it and was his, like they no, fried three chickens <laughs> and they ate them all. And then he's fighting over the last piece because I wanted that piece of chicken. Oh, it was so rude. Cy si claims he was the person that gave Jace his name. Well, well, in a way, that's true because when he was in Vietnam and I was pregnant with Jace. Phil wanted to say, why don't we, and this was in case something happened to Sarah, whatever, that we're going to name him after him, Jason Silas Robertson. 
But then I did not know that that was going to make Jason act like Cy. Si. <laughs> but it really did. Everybody wants to know who I fuss with the most with my kids. The one that was named after Uncle Cy. Si, yeah. Jason Silas Robertson. Well, here, here's how Uncle Cy si said it went down. He said, you, were, you had just given birth in the hospital. And y'all have not decided on a name well, for this baby yet. So you told Cy, si, go down there and find Phil, find out what he wants to name this kid. I think they added so, to that. So Cy si runs down to the river, yells off the 50 foot river bluff, hey, what do you want to name this kid? And, and Phil says, I don't care. He name, said, I don't care. I've name, done my part. Name him after you. Well, that <laughs> might have uh, happened, but <laughs> that might have happened like that. I don't remember. And I've but, heard that story and. Phil yelled back, Willie Jess. And I asked Willie, he goes, I don't know. I wasn't no. there. And no. so nobody he knows the truth. He didn't yell no oh, name. Y'all have made up so much stuff. Yeah. Now you're just so Phil didn't me. throw a name back. He said, hey, yeah. what do you expect me to do about it? I've done my part. Vicks Vapor Rub was a yeah. uh, cure-all for my I like everything. Thing. Didn't you say that your mother used to feed that to you with a spoon? Oh, yeah. You ate yeah. <laughs> No, no. When you had that cold, you, you, just, I, you just you just put a teaspoon, you know, you just eat a teaspoon yeah. of uh, Vicks Vapor Rub. Si, it just went all <laughs> over your your lips and your nose, and you punched it. Oh in no, your nose. Mama made us eat a teaspoon full of it. Well, now I know what's wrong okay. with you. <laughs> well, hey, and the whole. Well, hey, look, <laughs> hey, I didn't have any a lot of colds when I was young. You no. were uh, full of Vicks. Uh, and it's a great hemorrhoid reliever. Oh, okay. God. Okay, but I'll Jason later, Robertson. No, no, well, let me just tell you. Hey, you know, Jason's got hemorrhoids bad, and I told him how to, how to fix it. He will not buy it, boys. I said, nope. All right. Vicks Vapor Rub? Yeah. Now, that's what you tell your, your enemies, not your family. Hey, oh. hey, if it works, use it. Oh, he did it. He did it. Hey, I used it. Okay, it works. Okay. Well, yeah. No, well, if no. I want to get a nice burn, that's what I'll try. <laughs> well, no, it ain't that bad. Yeah. But well, that's that's when you're down to the last. Well, resort. that's some summer. No, when you've yeah. got something that is hurting you and you're always complaining about it, and someone comes up and says, "Hey, I know how to fix that for you, <laughs> if you will use it," and then you tell him, "And hey, hard at it. Nope, I ain't gonna use it." I said, "Well, hey, then you know what I got to tell you? Then suffer, buddy." <laughs> Well, so, yeah, right. yeah, and yeah, I've heard yeah. a lot of remedies by the rednecks, uh, and they'll no. kill you, so right. oh, yeah. I wouldn't I, listen to all that. Well, hey, this one works well. Okay, uh, I so would I, highly recommend do not use Vicks Vapor Rub on hemorrhoids. I'm, don't I, ever, I, I'm don't ever you, do I, I'm that. Telling you, so if work. you got something that hurts you really bad, put this on it, and it'll hurt ten times worse. Oh, no. That, that's, no what, it, hey, look, that's what that is. If does. they are hurting, it'll make it quit hurting. If they're itching, it'll make it quit well, yeah. itching. <laughs> Will you quit okay. putting that picture in all our head right <laughs> Well, hey, I'm just telling you, it works, okay? I have used it, you know. Uh, so well, you've done you, a lot of things I wouldn't you, do. Did you look that up? Does Do people really do that? Well, first, I, I, I Googled this exact term, Vicks Vapor Rub Ingested. Yeah, what did it say? No. Get poison control help online <laughs> yeah. or call one eight hundred two 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 twelve twenty two. Is it safe to ingest Vicks Vapor Rub? Never eat or swallow Vicks Vapor Rub. Right. There you go. The right. ingredients are toxic when ingested. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, you right. should have been dead. Yeah. Hey, that explains hey. a lot. Well, I'm just telling you. Okay. Hey. Did back Phil, in did the Phil, day, did Phil have to take it too? Oh, I guess I don't know. Hey, oh, bring it up, though. When we, we, I know what used you're going to have, gonna Okay, say. when we was young, they used to have, you had to deworm your kids. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I and they gave you it. they gave you in pill form. Phil would never take his. He'd always throw it behind something. Mama would find it, and then we'd all have to take the pill again. And you all get a, okay. and and get a whooping, too. Whip and I'll get a whooping, too. So y'all yeah. y'all y'all got dewormed like oh, yeah. like a bunch of dogs. Oh yeah, yeah had to. Huh. We could well, run around Phil, barefoot. We Phil never at that shoes. age he couldn't even take a pill. He can't take one now. He just throws the biggest fit ever. But now I see why Alan turned into be sneaky snake when he was a little boy <laughs> because he didn't heard that story about the, Phil hiding all those pills. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So Phil won't take pills. No, no, no. He he, he'd out. rather have his blood drained. Hey, there's one bottle of pills by, by his chair. He takes one pill. 
Omega XL. Omega no, XL. No, a two, two. He takes two. Okay, because he takes uh, aspirin. Yeah, yep. yeah. Baby hey. aspirin. Baby aspirin. Yes. Yeah, si, I take that of myself. Si, when he remembers yeah. that. Doctor's order. Well, hey, I, I take mine daily. I know. Yeah. Well, I'm because glad you're heart, now heart problem. back into taking your medicine daily. <laughs> there was a time. Well, I know. That's what I was told. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I've never been called a liar so many times in my whole life <laughs> we, we, uh, until that episode happened. You're, you're a wonderful human being. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you're and not. I didn't know that I, you know, I was that bad off. Hey, but you're not a liar about Vicks Vapor Rub soothing hemorrhoids. Are you serious? While it cannot cure them. It can provide relief. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, you feel like you're going to die for your relief. No, 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 (laughs) no, no. That's not true. Listen, I don't know what they, uh, they have something that supposedly takes care of it. (laughs) Don't work. Vicks Vapor Rub. No, 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 no. Preparation. Yeah, Preparation H or whatever it is (laughs) that they they sell and doctors give it as a prescription. No, that's number 10. It don't work. Vix vapor rub. If it's itching, it quits. If it's hurting, it no, quits. No, you know and what? Look, and it does not burn. That's a lie. <laughs> no, it does not. Well, now, my you, hemorrhoids do. Well, if you've got real bad, it may burn. But I'm telling you, hey, if I had hemorrhoids uh, the way Jason Robertson has them, <laughs> and he's always whining well, about how bad they hurt. Well, I wonder what was hurt. wrong with him. He's always well. Out of- you know, hey, look, I would try anything. If somebody said, hey, you know, uh, put a a poker, iron poker in the fire and heat it and then burn them. I'd try it. Well, you probably (laughs) would. Okay. Well, I would. If it fit that much, I will try anything. Before I sit there and be in pain, I'm going to try something that will fix it. Well, you know what? That's why they say you're crazy. Let's get off of the medical. This is going down a wrong road. Well, you started the hemorrhoids. Well, I couldn't help it. This is going down a weird road. It all started with that yellow stain on Si's (laughs) beard. Well, I'm trying to get rid of this. And it came from the red medicine made the yellow stain. That's right. The methylate. The methylate. (laughs) Well, we have all Now, hey, methylate burns. (laughs) <laughs> yes, okay. so does Vicks paper. I was raised up when you were. I know about that. <sighs> oh, man. Move on. Uh, well, moving on, even though we have a sign that says hemorrhoids are contagious. Well, <laughs> <Yeah>. that's. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know where to go from right. here. Do but not I will here. make a public service announcement. It will work. Vicks vapor up. Put it on anything. But just don't congest it. Don't, don't, don't ingest eat it. it. Do not. Don't <laughs> ingest it. Not congest Or you will end up. Like Cy uh, Robertson, I think we have to take a it'll break. Make yeah, a movie, it'll a break. make you a movie. It'll make you a movie star. Break. Time to take, take a break. A we got to take a break and call and apologize to Jace. Yeah. <laughs> Crap food. And, and then they, I mean, at least every roll and pound I got come from delicious good food. Amen. Holla at you, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Holla at you, boy. You I see some people what they You're eat. responsible for about 30 of this. Yeah, so, I am. I mean, I'm mo- and not just you. <laughs> a lot more people. Yeah, to my everything house. Goblin's oh. shedding right now, you did to him. So. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch that 50 pounds come on. <laughs> you gave Goblin diabetes. What? Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Like, say, my two little lambs that I raised to be sheep, I would take them around and visit all the old people. And tell them that my my sheep or my lambs wanted to come see them and do a trick. Aww. Of course, they had no trick, but I would act yeah. like they did. Yeah, and uh, I did that like all over the town because that's I had a lot of time on my hands. My mom and dad worked at the store, so and I had one after another: the turtles, the frogs, the, everything I, I collected. Mm-hmm. Not the alligators; they were dismissed immediately upon finding. Those That's they were taken away, so yeah. Well. But I mean, I would yep. take all my different animals and visit the old people who loved it because they're lonesome anyway, yeah. So I said they do that tricks so and they were waiting that. for the tricks that never came because mm-hmm. they really didn't perform. I just thought they could if they wanted to. I love it. Well, one of the things that I did fall in love about Willie too was the fact the way he loved you, yeah. He was, he was, he was kind of, I mean. On Duck Dynasty, Jup is definitely the mama's boy, and and that is true. That is because he's a baby. That's accurate. He's a baby. He is 
a mama's boy for sure. But Willie was also a yep. mama's boy. He took good care of you, didn't he? Yeah, he took. And up I love that. He really did. Yeah. And he was, and we call each other, and it's real mm-hmm. special. One of my favorite parts of working for Willie was just when you would call. Yeah. And talk to Willie. I don't know if you knew this or not, Kay, but he always put you on speakerphone. So. <laughs> I should have known that. Uh, can you believe I had diarrhea? Well, at least. <laughs> well, I was trying. Look at her, she knows what we're talking about. <laughs> That's the truth. Now, that is the truth. Let me tell you something. I remember when he was three years old, and, and he was funny. And one of the this is one of the things he did. We went shopping at, uh, it was for Walmart, so it, maybe it was Howard Rose or something like that. And uh, and he you know, was with me, and. And they had put him in the buggy and all that. And then the, when I noticed, I went out. I did not notice this till I was driving home. And I had my sack and stuff and all that. And then I looked <laughs> over at him and I said, where did you get that hat? And he said, in that store. Oh, no. And I said, I didn't buy that hat. He said, no, I did. I got it. And I said, well, you didn't have any money. And he said, no, I just took it. Oh, no. <laughs> and he said, and I liked it. So now I've got it on. And I said, well, we're going to have to take that back. But I couldn't do it then because I had somebody coming, you know, and all that. So it was funny because I don't know if I ever got paid for that 3 or $4 hat. Uh-oh. But, I mean, it was like he just, he just had it on. Like, it was okay. Well, I can add something. Okay. The first time I saw Phil at our high school, I was 14, he was 15. And you know what I said? The first time I saw him, that's the man I'm going to marry. And it doesn't hurt that he's the quarterback of the football team. (laughs) He's the pitcher on the baseball team. He throws a javelin on the track and field. And six foot and handsome. And six foot, over six foot and handsome. And I like that he hunted and fished. Because my daddy hunted and fished. I lost my daddy when I'm 14. My mama and I were dating at the same time, which is weird. Very weird. Yep. But I'm telling you, I knew it. And so when we started dating, it was great. And, you know, I didn't let him know that I want, you know, I had to play it cool. But <laughs> then he breaks. Sneaky's the word. <laughs> then he breaks up with me for hunting season because he didn't have time to date during hunting season. So we'd have to break up. Well, of course, that was crushing. And then I thought, well, my daddy hunted fish, but, you know, he didn't leave my mama to do it, but whatever. So then, so after duck season, season, he still ain't there. And I'm saying, well, I don't know what's up. But, you know, back then the man had to ask first, so that's the way it was. So then in May of the first year, when I was a freshman, my daddy died. He was 49, and I was 14. And uh, all my classmates came to the funeral, and I saw Phil. He was there. And when he looked at me, and I was sitting there on the front row, he said, I want to talk to you after. And I said, I just nodded. So when we got back together then, it was never left to four. And counting dating and marriage, we've been together 64 years. Thank you, John David. Thank you. That deserves that. And was it easy? (laughs) Nope. The first 10 years when he got to tech, he decided he didn't like those words you said. Responsibility. Ain't Nancy told him about responsibility? And what was your other word? Commitment. Commitment. Oh, that just went, and then he went to play with, I mean, he had to stay in the dorms with all the unmarried football players. Well, that was not good at all. So we had a bad time. I had a bad time. He had a sinful time for 10 years. So everybody said, you need to leave him. You need to leave him. You need to leave him. You got a biblical reason to leave him. <clears throat> everybody feels family. My family, every friend I had, everybody said, leave it. Everybody. I said, no, I told my grandma, speaking of people, I had my grandma, see, because when my daddy died and mama was dating, well, she was busy, and I had my grandma. She said, I want you to know, little girl, it's one man and one 
woman for life, and you will not ever say the D word, which is divorce. She said, don't say that. You will fight for that marriage, and that's the way it'll be. Well, I'm just rocking and swinging. And I said, <clears throat> well, I know what he's going to look like. And I described Phil to a T. And he's going to hunt and fish and do all this stuff. And here it was. It was just like my dream come true. But then all of a sudden, he was out of control because he didn't know God. And I didn't. I thought I did. But it was not real. So 10 years. And then I said, leave him, leave him, leave him. I said, no, 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 no. And then guess what he did? After about nine years, nine and a half, he kicked us out. He said me and the kids were ruining his life. I said, well, you've been ruining my life for the last almost 10 years. So he kicked us out right in the middle of the night. We, me and those little boys packed a few things, and here we were gone. And I'm saying you're going to hate him then, but that was the devil. The devil in control for the last 10 years was a Phil. And so when we were left and apart, we lived in a little crappy apartment, the only thing we could afford, and the church helped us. And there we were. And every day the boys and I would pray for Phil to come to the Lord and change his ways. But we were carrying on. We were going to make it no matter what I told those boys. I said, I'm with you to the end. But we'll pray for Daddy, and maybe we'll get back together. And here he come after four months in the parking lot at lunch. And my girlfriend said, don't go out there. He might have a gun. I said, he'll have a gun because he carries a gun everywhere he goes. <laughs> he's a hunter. He might have a gun. I got one. No, he's got one. But I said, no, I'm not going to let him come up here to the office and cause a big thing and lose my job. So I went out there. When it rolled the window down, he did, and, was, and he was crying. I never saw him cry. I couldn't. My whole throat was like, he's like I want him now. And he said, I can't eat. I can't sleep. I, can't, I don't even want to just live. He said, I need my family back. I can't live without y'all. And I was like, you're the one that sent us away. You know, you done forgot that, right? I didn't say that. I said, that's great, Phil. I believe you want to, but I am not taking you back till you have a different inside. And I think you know what I'm talking about. And he said, yeah, you want me to be a Christian, right? I said, yeah. And he said, well, I don't know how to do that, and I don't know who to talk to. And I said, well, I know how to do it, and I do know who you can talk to. And that was Bill Smith. You remember him? Yep. And so I set it up at our apartment, and all the boys said when when Phil came in, they hadn't seen him in four months. You know, they hugged him and everything. And they said, Daddy, did you bring our portable uh, color TV? Because we just have to watch black and white every day. And he said, please bring it back. Phil said, I'll bring it back tomorrow. So he came, and they studied. And Phil told him, he said, look, I'm going to check you on everything you said in this Bible. I'm going to read it and see if what you told me. I'm not going to just trust you. And Bill Smith said, if I'd been in your world, Phil, I wouldn't trust anybody either. So he read it, and then he, they had another Bible study, and I let him stay then home. And then the next Bible study, we had to run the store, and there was a note on the door. It said, hurry, come to the church. And when I walked in the back of that church, Phil and him were up in the baptistry, and I heard Phil say, yes, I'm going to make Jesus the Lord of my life. And I want to be baptized. So I looked down to all little boys, just tears running down their eyes. And Jason said, does this mean he won't cuss anymore? <laughs> I said, we got to help him. We got to help him. <sighs> and basically, that was the story of their new daddy in our life. But you know what I tell people? Why did I stay for 10 years? I don't know a soul who would have done that. I really don't. But guess why I stayed for 10 years? My grandmother's words. Was you got to fight for your marriage. Mm -hmm. And stick it out. So I'm not saying I'm a great person. I'm just saying, let me tell you something. Don't give up easy. 
people. There's so many people to help you. Back then, I didn't know anybody to help me. I didn't know anybody could come tell all that to. I really didn't. I was scared to tell somebody. But see, nowadays, look what help we've got. Well, and that's uh, why we have small groups. Hunter emails in, and he said, his girlfriend and I are looking to get a dog, and we wanted your help on picking a name. We get to name this person's dog. Well, wow. first of all. Is that a boy or girl? It's a, what, they don't have what it yet. What type of dog? Uh, they don't have it yet. Oh. Well, what time? Well, you kind of have time. to see the dog to yeah. know the name. Yeah. But I was thinking maybe we just go with Bobo number. Seven. <laughs> seven. I think they should name him Bobo Seven. Yeah, Bobo and that's seven, why I saved that's that good. question for And Kay. Bobo came from a dog named Jesse James. <laughs> and then we had just Jesse. And then we went on down. We ran out of ways to change to Jesse James, so we go to Bobo. And Which, now, How did it go from Jesse James to Bobo? Well, I thought, well, his really official name at the vet is Jesse James, number four. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> or was it seven? I can't remember. But so we Can't just keep up with it, boys. we just couldn't keep na making yeah. names for that, so we just decided to call him Bobo. You had to go with the nickname. Yeah, and Bobo suited him. Yeah, yeah. And Bobo's still around. And anytime you're getting sad, just think about us in your life. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's that easy. It's that it's easy. That boys. easy. It is because. <laughs> I didn't know where you were going with that. She said, anytime you get sad, just think about me and my brother-in-law. I was, yeah, right. I was hey. thinking we were about to get something super deep. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I, 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 don't, I don't do simple. deep. Hey, simple's the best, boys. Yep. I don't do deep. It is true. Every time I do think about you inside, I do laugh. Oh, I do Because I've too. had so many good right. memories just in this room. Amen. Amen.